Hi guys, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a huge back to school try on clothing haul. Um, I must say I went a little overboard. Actually, not really, now that I think about it. It looks like a lot, but it's really not a lot, but I don't know. Anyways, before this video starts, I just want to put a couple disclaimers out there just so like there's no elephants in the room. <laughs> I am not trying to brag in any single way, shape, or form. Um, my mom did buy a lot of these clothes because, I don't know, she's my mom and she wanted to. Like, I don't know. I'm super, super, super grateful for that. So mom, if you're watching, thank you so, so much. I love all the pieces that we bought and I had fun shopping with you. And by no means does going back to school shopping mean that you need to break your budget or break the bank because you can be balling on a budget. I tried to use the best deals. I tried to use as many coupons as I possibly could. So I think I've done enough rambling. Let's just get on into the haul because I'm so excited to show you guys what I bought. I don't even think I can lift this bag up. <laughs> So this is all the stuff in a bag that we bought. Just take a look. This bag is basically half of the size of my body. So well, let's get started, shall we? Um, maybe it's actually a better idea if I keep this on the floor. Guess I will start off with the non-clothing items. So the first place I went to was my local drugstore. I spent $42.24 there and I used a few 20% offs and I also used a 5 off of 20. So the first thing that I bought was the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Lash Paradise and it kind of looks like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And I heard it's basically like the best dupe compared to that mascara that is way more affordable. I figured I would pick it up and try it myself. Not that it matters because personally for me, I have super, super, super long eyelashes or so everybody says. So every mascara that I use always makes my eyelashes look super long and super full and super voluminous. Honestly, every mascara that I use makes them look like that. So I figured I'd just pick something up that I really like the high-end brand too. I've heard really great things about this, so I'm excited. Oh, I'm also gonna tell you guys the prices of everything too. I meant to mention that in the beginning, but I wanted to tell you guys like the sizes, if it's clothes or like the price and stuff I paid. And if I use coupons, like how much I paid after the coupon. So I will let you guys know. So this mascara was originally $8.79 and I used a 20% coupon. So I saved $1.75 which brings my total price of this mascara to $7.04. Love of the deal. Second thing I bought was the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Spray. So this was originally $5. With the $5 off 20 coupon, it saved me $1.25. I paid $3.75, that makes sense. Next thing I bought was the Neutrogena Mineral Shears Loose Powder Foundation. I got this in the shade 10, Classic Ivory. I just needed a new powder because I am clearly breaking out and that is a no-no sis. A million things going on so I'm a little stressed out. This was originally $11.99 and with a 20% discount I saved $2.40 so I only paid $9.59 for this powder. I really like this powder because it's loose but it has really great coverage. They're like a facial company which I just like this. Um, Neutrogena is a really great drugstore brand, especially with makeup and like face wash and lotions and stuff too, so I trust their brand. And then to go along with that, I got the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint Hyaluronic Acid, I can't read, but this is also in the shade 10 Classic Ivory. This was originally $14.99 and then with the remaining $5 off 20 coupon, this applied $3.75 to that, so I only paid $11.24 for it. So can't beat that and then the last thing that I bought was the NYX micro brow pencil and I really like this because it's basically like the Anastasia brow pencil but obviously way more affordable this was originally $9.99 with a 20% off coupon I saved $2 so I only paid $7.99 for it so that's how I got the grand total of $42.24 <sighs> what a mouthful to say right I don't know let me just have my moment <laughs> where do I go next okay First place that I went to was the Burlington Coat Factory. It's like another department store, basically. When I went, I didn't find much to choose from, but I did really like this Calvin Klein sweater. It just looks like this. It's very lightweight. I got it in a size medium. This was originally being sold for $79.50, but the Burlington Coat Factory was selling it for $29.99. So it was a deal I couldn't pass up. I don't really have any gray sweaters. So I figured this would look really cute. Next place I went to was the paper store and they actually sell some really great 
pieces. They are a little bit more pricey, but you are paying for the quality of the clothing, so. I hate when people have loud vehicles and motorcycles. Like, so mad. Anyways. So this is what the sweater looks like. It's just like an off-white color. Um, it's by the brand Mia and Tess. A little oversized. I really liked it because it's not too cropped or anything, but it's still really, really cute and it's very soft. So the paper store had it originally priced for $39.99. I used a 30% off coupon. My mom only had to pay like 27 or 28 dollars for this shirt and from the paper store that's a really great price so i'm really excited to wear this piece because i don't own anything like this material the next place i went to was marshall's because who doesn't love back to school shopping at marshall's am i right yes i am right fun fact i used to actually work at marshall's but then they put me through like i don't know i would like cry after every shift because they were kind of mean to me so <laughs> not too much shade but <laughs> I'm glad I'm out of there. Anyways, the next piece I picked up was this Calvin Klein sweater. It actually wasn't on clearance. It was originally $24.99. In the arm, it had a little bit of a pull. I was just like, hey, like, am I able to get 10% off? So they gave me 10% off. So it brought it down to $23, which is fine. I mean, it's only $1.99 off the $1.99 that I saved. So I'm super excited to wear it and hopefully a little pull on the arm isn't too noticeable. The next thing I bought was this really cute green sweater from Marshalls. And it has these cute little buttons running down the back. It's from the brand Max Studio. Marshalls wanted $24.99 for it. $24.99 for a really great sweater that I know is gonna last me for a while. I don't mind paying. And then the last thing that I bought from Marshalls was completely out of my comfort zone because I never buy anything this color. The fact that I bought it, I'm kind of shook. It was this color. I don't even know. It's kind of like an orangey brown, like rusty color. It is by the brand Rachel Zoe. Rachel Zoe? Zoe? I don't know. Marshalls wanted $24.99 for it, so I gave them $24.99, and I think it's so cute. And the last place that I went to for shirts was Aerie. We love Aerie. Actually, after this trip, I really love Aerie. I found this really, really, really cute gray oversized sweater. It's a little see-through, but it was actually on the clearance rack for 60% off. You guys are going to be shook. The original price was $44.95. Five cents. My mom only paid $17.98 for this. And how cute is this for $17.98? Am I right? I don't know why it was on clearance because like, this is cute. I don't know why, but like, I'm glad it was. I'm not complaining because I saved a lot of money. I saved like $30, so. So the first place I went to for jeans was of course Hollister. Hollister always has the best deals on jeans because their jeans are usually $25. Considering they're fairly good quality and they last for a decent amount of time, can't complain, $25 is like nothing for a pair of jeans. So the first pair I bought are just these normal dark wash jeans with no rips in them. Nothing too special about this, just needed a new pair of normal dark wash jeans with no rips. And then the second pair that I bought, these like medium wash, like kind of distressed jeans. And the second place that I went for jeans was JCPenney's because JCPenney's always has great deals and sales. I picked up one pair of jeans from there. They were originally $49 and I got them for $19.99. So again, that's a really great deal. They're kind of like a jegging though. That's okay because they're cute and they're comfortable. So I'm not going to like die in them. They are a little distressed at the knees, which I thought was a little different because I was expecting it to be like down the entire leg, but it's fine. They're kind of like high rise or like mid rise, I would say. For $20, can't beat it, right? Oh no, this haul is coming to an end. So the last place I went was DSW and I actually had a coupon. So I had a coupon in the mail for $20 off a $49 purchase. So they also had an in-store sale for 25% off everything or online for 20% off. So obviously I went in the store because it's a better percentage off. After the 25% off, these shoes did not meet the requirement, but luckily my mom found a pair of shoes that she really liked. So we just combined the purchase and we were able to use my coupon plus the 25% off each shoe. Tell me these aren't the cutest things ever. I've been looking for these for the longest time and I can never find them because they're always like sold out of my size because I guess they're a popular shoe now. now. These are so comfortable, these are so cute. These shoes were originally $49, so subtract the $20 off and it automatically brings the shoes down to 29, 25% off of 29. Technically my shoes only costed $21.75. Oh my gosh, that's it, like, that's everything I bought. 
thought I had more. So that is all from my back to school clothing haul. I actually thought I had more clothes to show, but I guess I don't. Um, whatever. Like I said, I just mainly bought like sweaters and jeans and like a pair of shoes and some makeup. I didn't buy anything too crazy, but just a couple of things to spice up my wardrobe if you will i don't know i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to hit the subscribe button down below just so that i know that you guys would like more content from me in the future thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys